Hey everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and I am here at the ATM, and I am going to get some money out so I can go yard selling, so I want you to ride along with me, and we'll see what kind of awesome items that I find together. Okay, at my first stop here, I picked up this neat star strainer, which is really cool. And I got this old coal bucket. It's kind of rusty in the bottom, but it's got the old coal scoop. Um, paid two bucks for this, and I paid a dollar for that. So I got three bucks in that. That I can put in the store for probably like eight bucks. And this I'll put in the store for like, probably like three. That's cool though. That is really cool. Okay, so I can get back to showing you guys what I bought. Um, that last sale I had to scoop out because uh, that lady wasn't going to let me film my video. and <laughs> She kept talking to me, which is cool, but I needed to film this part of the video. But anyways, I picked up this uh, jar. It's kind of rough around the inside, but I paid a dollar for it. I just picked up this owl mug. She gave it to me for free. Um, I picked up these five uh, little chicken little... I don't know what they are. They're cool, though. I picked five of them up for a dollar a piece. And then um, I just scored all of this paintball stuff, this mask, the uh, holders, the Tipman A5 gun, and two of these canisters. And I paid 30 bucks, which is absolutely fantastic. I got this uh, Frankenstein shirt, brand new with tags. I paid two for it. thought it was kind of cool. Then I got this uh, vintage Alan Jackson shirt. It's, it's roachy, but I love it. Alan Jackson, that's cool. And then I found this awesome LA uh, Lakers. And it has a couple little spots on it, but it's vintage. Uh, made by Brandon Sportswear. Kind of cool. I like it a lot, so yeah. Uh, it has a couple minor spots on it, but I think it'll still sell for pretty decent money. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of other things that I got. I just made it home. I ended up with this Roseville crock here, this old brown stoneware crock. I paid $5 for that, which was a really good deal. I got a bunch of religious books here for me. I love those. I grabbed a couple of uh, antique archaeology shirts from a yard sale. Paid $0.50 cents a piece for them, which was really cool. And um, I got that one, and then I got this one with the chicken on the front of it, which is really cool. I got those for the store. And at the same sale, I got this old butter press. I got that. They painted the front of it, unfortunately, but hey, that's what they painted little sunflowers on it. And then I ended up with this little brass hook, which I really like. I paid 50 cents. I can put that in the store. I'll put that in the store for like five bucks because those are cool. I paid two for this and I'll put it in the store for probably uh, six. So, And the crock, I'll probably put that in the store for uh, probably 50 bucks. So that was, a good, that was a good pickup. I like it. Hey everybody, this is John here and I've got a crazy story. I was at the thrift shop the other day and I picked up a whole slew of Bibles and there were probably... 50 Bibles there and out of the 50 Bibles I picked up like five Mismals and probably like six Bibles and one of them I picked up was this giant, giant print Bible and I like to get these giant print Bibles and I give them away free in my store for the people who come in that have trouble you know reading a regular Bible I always like to have some of these there um, but anyways I started looking through it and there was a name in here that looked really familiar and come to find out that this is my friend he lives here and it was his family Bible, and he's had some medical issues, and he accidentally donated it. So I'm getting ready to go give this Bible back. I just think it's funny. I just think it's kind of cool. I'm glad that God uses me, that he put me in the position that I could find this Bible, because it's important to him, and I know them, and I can get this Bible back to who it belongs. So that's kind of cool. Sometimes this business really is rewarding, and it isn't always, like, monetarily. So... I'm going to go give it back. So I dropped the book off and he was extremely ecstatic to get that Bible back. And I can tell you what, people, that is Jesus. That guy, was he was happy to have that book. It meant a lot to him. It was a family heirloom. And you know what? Anyone could have went there and picked that up 
we live in a county of about 12 or 15,000 people but I wouldn't I, I normally wouldn't even have bought that Bible because it was a little rough around the edges and it had a lot of writing in it but I'm telling you God had a purpose and I bought it so that it could get back to its rightful owner crazy God's awesome awesome he could have you know he could have easily just had him never donate it but with him donating it me finding it and giving it back to him it's just a way to let him know and let me know that God thinks about us and that he cares about us and that he loves us it's amazing so I'm gonna go back inside and get back to work so I just picked up this treadle sewing machine I paid 50 bucks for it uh, the base I can get about 75 and um, the drawers they detach from the base um, what I what I what you could really do with this would be put a new tabletop on top of it because what would be really cool is that it's actually got these really pretty drawers built into these little stands on the bases which would be awesome to redo that into a into a desk and I've actually got some pieces of Luon in the back that I could take the sewing machine off trim that down and glue it to the top of that of that table which would be which would be awesome I don't know just a project that I think I could do and, and fix it's household it's a little rusty but you can always fix that with a can of Krylon but it works really good I thought for as rusty as it was going to be that the treadle wasn't going to work but um, I'm treadling it from the wrong side but like it just it's, it's just as smooth as, as butter and then I picked up these four Fiesta wear plates and I got uh, this random box of stuff for 20 bucks. I wouldn't have paid that much for it except for I wanted this light fixture here. This is, she had $10 on this and this is a turn of the century light fixture. This is absolutely gorgeous. It has the old Novin 2 wiring. This right here is probably worth 60 bucks. So that was a good pickup. And then some little stuff like I love this little uh, canister here. It's got a little lid on it. Um, the rest of this, I got a, like a little galvanized pail. I got Catholic uh, saint statue. This is a real nice piece of copper. I love that. It's real pretty. Manning quality Bowman. But I think that could be cleaned up. That might be, that could be an eBay piece right there cleaned up because that's real pretty. Um, here's a little Asian guy. That's garbage. That's just for covering up a chimney hole. A little brass thing it ain't much a bell I like the bells but I figured for 20 bucks for this box I didn't I didn't get hurt so I better get off here so I can help carry stuff in and it looks like they about got everything though so uh, not quite so I'm gonna get off here and help carry some stuff in hey everybody this is John here and I am coming up for a preview sell they're having in this building, they're gonna have an auction here. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna check out and see what some of the cool stuff they're gonna have at the auction tomorrow. There's John Pridey right there walking into the building. I'm hoping they have some really cool stuff. I brought some stuff for Polly. I got those uh, uh, Fiesta Wear saucers. So here we go, let's go and check it out. Neat old rotary phone here. I love these. Nope, no one's there. This is how you dial these kids, if you ever asked. You have to bring it all the way around to there. There you go. That's pretty cool. Bunch of neat little uh, bottles, old advertising bottles. Look at that, Christmas Hummel. It's nice. Nice old bottle. Wine bottle. It's a cool old uh, Blue Island, Illinois. Williams Rolled Trademark SD. Don't know. It's a cool old hat. Looky here, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. I got the real thing at the store. But that's in the box, that's nice. It's 
Let's see what year it is. Not factory sealed, but it's 1996. That's a cool piece. Love that little trunk. It's nice. Looky here. Star Wars X-Wing. That's from 96 as well, 95. That's cool. In the box. Get these neat little suitcases. I love those. Nice little clothes. What is this? Automatic vaporizer. It's got that green jar. It's missing the piece up here on top. That's cool. It's especially packed for. It says something at the end, but I don't know what it says. Especially packed for. Huh. Uh, here's your holy family. This is in gorgeous shape. That's absolutely fantastic. I opened it up earlier, and it's beautiful. Take a peek in here. Look how clean that is. That's awesome. That is awesome. Pretty, pretty, pretty clear glass. Bunch of old Christmas ornaments. These are cool. Little wooden ornaments. Little elf. Bunch of uh, ephemera there. Paper, paper stuff. These are cool. Kurt. That's neat. Here's some baseball bats. Willie Mays. That's cool. Willie Mays bat. That one's not marked. Willie Mays Big Stick. An Adirondack. 302 JF. Bible. Bunch of blue jars. Look at that. That's cool. That is absolutely cool. I've never seen one like that. That's a beautiful blue as well. I like that. Those child craft sets sell really well. If that's a complete set, there should be 15 books in the set. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14. 14. Oh, there's one missing. Always one missing. You always wonder, where does it go? Where does it go? Some chairs. Afghans. This old scale. That's awesome. Old chest. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. Ford March. Nice chair. Double broiler or broiler. <laughs> Missing the front, that sucks. That's a neat piece. There's Polly over there. Over there digging in the pots and pans. Look at that lamp. Oop. Didn't see that there. Look at that, that's cool. Pump. How much weight I've lost? Getting skinny. Getting skinny, people. Table's nice, but it needs some work. A little rough. Anyone need a potty chair? They're gonna have three of them. Four. Look at the piggies. Those are cute. A bunch of silverware. There's a one dot Pepsi Cola bottle. That's what a one dot looks like right there. It only has one dot. Pretty self-explanatory. But on the bottom of these bottles, it'll tell you when they were made. 
This one was made in 63. I don't know if you can see that, but that 63 right there means it was made in 1963. Look at the antlers. Another rotary phone. Cool. Look at that. Brass nuts. How do you like them? All hinged. It's a nutcracker. That's a, that's a, that's a coolest nutcracker I've seen. And box of silver. Oh, look at that. Touch tone. Candle, candelabras. Those are cool. Not a whole lot that I really need. A lot of, a lot of stuff, but not much eBay. Not much eBay and not really a lot of store, store stuff. Bags of jewelry. Hey, look at this jewelry, ladies. Get on that. Yeah, nice display case. Yeah. Look at all this. Now this is where they got the good stuff. Oh, it's fine. That beautiful beaded else. purse. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Look at that and this Anson little abalone. Yeah, that's worth it all right It's pretty. Get this neat little advertising piece. I love that. Yeah, it's super cool. Look at that. That's awesome. We can use another one of these pieces. Yes, instead of number two. Yeah. Look at all this jewelry, ladies. Look at that. Another beaded purse. Nice set of pearls. Those feel good, too. Individually knotted. Hmm. Those could be. Look at that clasp on there. That's a pretty good clasp. That's probably a fairly legit set. This is beautiful here too. All those polished stones. Here's some cars. Is that a red line? Is that a red line? Nope, nope, nope. Not a red line. But it is the... I can't remember what they call those. I'll have to ask uh, my buddy. I'll have to ask Derek. My hot wheel guy. He'll know what that, what that series was. There we go. Here's some cameos. Making a cameo in the video. That's cool. That, that's super nice. That's a little locket. <clears throat> Look at that, Griswold. That's one of those, uh, is that they call them the zinc ones or whatever? I can't remember what they're called. Um, I've seen those before. In fact, the one that I picked up, that Erie one that I picked up the other day, they have one that's like that, that's got that, whatever, the zinc or the, I uh, can't remember what they call it. I don't think it's chrome. chrome. I think that'd be bad for you. <laughs> You're gonna eat chrome. <laughs>